and the fourth type is called as anaplastic. Anaplastic carcinoma of the thyroid is seen in less than 5% of the cases and it is more commonly seen in elderly female and mostly arise in the pre-existing tumor which is more commonly the papillary carcinoma may develop into this. So, anaplastic thyroid cancers are undifferentiated tumors of the thyroid follicular epithelium. So, anaplastic cancers are extremely aggressive with a disease specific mortality approaching nearly 100%. So, the lungs are the most common site for the distant metastasis in the anaplastic type being involved in approximately up to 90% of the patients with the distant disease. On physical examination, most of the patients have bilateral but asymmetric thyroid enlargement and the goiter is the one which is typically hot and nodular and may be tender and a dominant nodule is often present and some nodules may be softer and fluctuant indicating it is a focal tumor necrosis whenever it is soft. After discussing all these specific features, what exactly is the diagnosis? The diagnosis of the anaplastic cancer is usually established by the cytologic examination of cells which is obtained by the fine needle aspiration biopsy or the tissue obtained by large needle or surgical biopsy. So, there are three major patterns which can be seen. One is the squamoid, one is the spindle cells and third one is the joint cells. And all these have essentially 100% mortality where you can see the pleomorphic joint cells, spindle cells and small anaplastic cells what you can see over here. And the treatment, the only option is a thyroidectomy or lobectomy and the radioactive iodine treatment.